Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Each answer choice is an important concept that relates to electrons and how they are oriented. Because each one is very important to understand for the MCAT, I want to cover each one in detail. Let's start with answer choice A, the off-bow principle. The off-bow principle is related to how electrons fill orbitals. And the off-bow principle states that electrons will fill orbitals from lowest energy orbital to highest energy orbital. Okay. And the way we determine which orbitals have more energy than other orbitals is using this n plus l value. n stands for the principal quantum number, and l stands for the angular momentum quantum number. So if you add those two things together, it's going to tell you the relative energy level of that orbital compared to other orbitals. Okay? Another way that you can determine which order is going to be taken when you're filling orbitals with electrons, you can use this diagram here. And then we go to 2s. Then we go to 2p and then 3s, then 3p and then 4s, and so on and so forth. And we can create this diagram by lining them up by their principal quantum number, right? These are all the number 1, n equals 1 principal quantum number. This is all n equals 2 principal quantum number. There are a couple ways to remember that this is the off-bow principle, right? The off-bow off is some weird, I don't know, it's like a German word or something weird. It's, it's not easy to relate to for us English speakers, right? So one way to remember it is that these, this diagram is off center, right? Like we're not going, we're not going in this direction, but we're going diagonally, so it's off center. Okay, that's one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is that lower energy orbitals will bow to higher energy orbitals, right? So the off bow principle. No matter how you remember it, it doesn't matter. The key is that you understand the principles behind it. The next principle I want to discuss is the Pauli exclusion principle which states that no electron can have the same electron configuration as another electron. Let me give you an analogy that will help you understand this principle. Imagine you are living at 1964 Washington Court in Brookfield, Wisconsin in the United States. It would not be logical and it's not even possible in our society to have this, someone else living at the exact same address of 1964 Washington Court in Brookfield, Wisconsin in the United States. There might be a person with the address of 1964 Washington Court in Omaha, Nebraska, but we can't have someone with the exact same address, right? It's the same thing with electrons. No two electrons are going to have the exact same address. And their address is determined by their quantum numbers, right? So if their principal quantum number was 1, and their angular momentum number was 0, and their magnetic quantum number was 0, and their spin quantum number was negative 1 half, we cannot have another electron with these exact same four numbers. We can have an electron with these first three numbers, but then plus one half, right? But we can't have another electron with the exact same with the exact same quantum numbers. One way to remember this rule is that the exact same address as another electron is excluded. It's excluded as a possibility. The next concept we need to dis discuss is Hund's rule. Hund's rule states that electrons are going to fill orbitals one at a time before doubling up. Okay? Here's an analogy to help you understand this, this concept. Think about a school bus. Each, each seat on a school bus can typically hold two people. But people generally don't like to sit next to each other on a school bus um, when there's a lot of seats available, right? Like typically if you were if you walk onto a school bus, you sit down. And then another student comes on the school bus, and they sit down right next to you. It's kind of awkward, right? It's like, uh, like, do you do I know you? Uh, are you attracted to me? Um, what what's your problem, man? You know what I mean? So, it's the same thing with electrons. They don't like to sit down next to each other until there's no other option, right? If every single seat on the school bus was occupied, and then someone sat next to you, it wouldn't be awkward, right? It'd be normal because hey, there's no other option for that person. So it's not like they have anything towards you or against you. It's just that, you know, there's no other option. You know, electrons are the same way. 
they're not going to get awkwarded out if we've already got you know every seat taken on the school bus so so if you look at this diagram we're going to start out by having an electron with an upward spin and then when we add another electron it's going to also have an upward spin and that's another principle that's another part of this rule Hun's rule is that um, as you're filling up the electrons they're all going to have the same spin in each orbital before they double up so you're never going to have up down up as you're filling these up right it's going to be up 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 and then when we fill up the next orbitals as you can see here it's going to be down okay so that's that's kind of how we fill electrons into their orbitals and that is Hun's rule one way you can remember this concept is imagining someone getting onto a school bus and sitting ne down next to you and saying hey hun you're like whoa buddy that's awkward so that's one way to think about it you know uh, if it helps you remember it you can use it the last answer choice related to electron configuration an electron's configuration is where it is located right it's it's four quantum numbers that's what dictates an electron's configuration so for argon its electron configuration is right here okay that tells me exactly where um, argon's valence electron is located okay now that we've covered each of these concepts in detail let's go through each answer choice and find out which one is correct first of all the off-bow principle the off-bow principle if we remember it's where one electron bows to another electron because we fill electrons from lowest energy orbital to highest energy orbital right that's the off-bow principle so does that principle really state that an electron must spin in the opposite orientation as another? Not really. That's not really something we need to worry about with the off-bow principle. The Pauli exclusion principle. Um, let's think about this. An electron spin. That's the fourth quantum number that we deal with. The spin, right? MS. Magnetic spin is the fourth quantum number. And if electrons didn't spin in op opposite directions, wouldn't the two electrons within an orbital have the same address yeah this that would break the Pauli exclusion principle therefore the Pauli exclusion principle would dictate that electrons should spin in opposite directions therefore the Pauli exclusion principle is the answer here now what about Hun's rule remember Hun's rule it states that we need to fill the school bus one seat at a time before we double up right and that does not really have anything to do with electrons spinning in opposite directions. It just dictates the order that orbitals must be filled. Therefore, Hun's rule is not it. An electron configuration principle, that's just a made up term. On the MCAP, make sure to be wary of those terms that look good, sound good, but are not good, right? Because it's not even a it's not even a term that you need to know for the MCAT. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions today, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.